good morning YouTube this is undefined silver I wanted to share with you a local coin shop experience I did have this morning I did find a third local coin shop within roughly around a 10 mile radius from where I live so I did drive over there and I wanted to try them out and see what they had in their shop I did pass it uh, about a week and a half ago made note of it where it was and I then uh, headed over there to check out their silver. So, you know, they did this. This shop did have uh, quite a variety. They had a lot of constitutional silver. They had a lot of bullion, a lot of generic silver rounds. Not as many vintage bar rounds. Not as many vintage bars, and not a lot of vintage, but. You know, like the other coin shop that, you know, I did make a video of, they also had a bucket of uh, generic silver that I was able to go through. And there were some things in there of interest. I did go there with without the intention of buying a lot of silver. Um, I thought that I would have to go to go back to my other local coin shop, uh, my usual, my go-to guys. But... You know, I was pleasantly surprised with the variety here. Uh, I did end up spending about $300, a little bit less, about $292, I think it was, uh, for everything that I purchased. I purchased 13 and a half ounces. I purchased uh, eight walkers and some uh, Mexican pesos and an onza. So uh, I wanted to show you these things today. Enjoy. All right, let's get going. So. Let me show you the Mexican silver that I purchased. Uh, here's a known peso. This I, uh, I was able to purchase from them for $11. Now all my silver that I purchased today has been tested. I did test it in the shop before I did purchase it. I had my magnet with me. Uh, I always carry my loop with me. Um, but, you know, I did a ping test as well. So uh, all the silver that I did purchase is legit. You know. I always test it every time before I take it out of the shop, and uh, I usually do not have a, usually I, I've never had a problem with any of the coin shops that I've been to. So this owns a, you know, for $11, this thing is in beautiful condition. It's a little bit dirty, which I don't really care about, but uh, as far as the condition of this coin, let's see if I can get a focus here, you know, without the marks, I mean, this is a high... There's not really a lot here that is smoothed over. This is a 1943, I think, I believe this is 1943, yes. Okay, un peso. Uh, this is a cap with rays. Now this un peso here, um, I might have about 20 of these. I might have enough for a roll. I'm going to have to look through my, my collection and pull these out. I do have a box of Mexican silver. I usually separate my my silver by the country you know when it comes to coinage not the uh, not my generic rounds but when it comes to coinage I separate everything and uh, I'm gonna have to check and see if I do have enough for a tube I am gonna create a tube of these uh, which I do believe I now have a tube of this so let's move along so I was able to purchase that so that was eleven dollars uh, he had one onza in his shop since I saw that and there was one Unza in his case uh, that he had. This is the only one he had in his shop. So this I was able to get from him for $18 which you know I believe these are going for well above 20 maybe 21 22 I believe maybe even more I'm not sure but $18 for me to take this off his hands you know I had to purchase uh, some additional silver to bargain for that uh, but I had him pull this out of the case. And he told me it was his last one, whether it was or not. I'm not sure, and I really don't care. But for $18, this is in beautiful condition. This could be brilliant uncirculated from the looks of it. Cactus still has a lot of detail. So does the eagle, the snake. This definitely is not coal. Here's the edge. 
Independence. Independence. Yeah. So this was eighteen dollars. So I had very good uh, purchases here regarding uh, Mexican. So let's look at the generic silver that I purchased and the Constitutional, which is in this bag. Let's look at the uh, let's look at the Constitutional here. So I did purchase uh, eight walkers that I needed to. Uh, these were six dollars a piece. I needed eight of these to finish off a uh, a tube that I have here. I found out that I shorted myself. I only purchased eight. I needed ten. So I should have purchased two more, but I thought that I only needed eight, but that was not the case. So, I mean, these aren't bad for six dollars. Definitely have some wear and tear on them. You know, 1942. 1942. These are you know, not bad. They're kind of slick. Certainly uh, circulated. Now these, um, I just grabbed these. He had these in a box. He had, it looked like he had about 200 of these in a box. So I just grabbed eight, thinking that I had eight needed, but that was not the case. 1943. Everybody knows what these look like. So uh, all you lucky uh, coin searchers out there, finding these in uh, as you coin hunt. That's nice. But for six dollars I can't complain. You know, it was good to know good good to get to know him. And uh, you know, we talked a little bit. Uh, I am gonna go back to this local coin shop. It was about uh, nine miles out from me. It didn't take me long at all to get there this morning. Uh, but anyway, eight more walkers to the collect to my stack. I'm going to have to look up, I, have, I do have, uh, I'm going to have to do a count of my constitutional one day and see what I have. Um, so he did have some vintage, uh, vintage rounds and, and bars and that I saw. Uh, you know, here's a nice, hopefully this is, uh, you can see this. This is a nice vintage bar he had. One ounce of pure silver. And this is America Bicentennial, 1976. So this is a this is a uh, bar from 1976 with a buffalo on it. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I purchased this Liberty Mint bar. I don't have this bar. This is a uh, landing of Columbus. This was in very good condition from 1973. Uh, I believe this is... Um, this doesn't have any toning hardly at all on it. Just on the edges a little bit where the opening on this protective sleeve is. But the landing of Columbus, very good shape. Liberty Mint. Okay, now my rounds. Uh, this one I have not. Let me see if I can open this up. Yeah, I can open it. Can tape this one shut. I was having a hard time with this round. Uh, this is 1982. One ounce round. Monix. Very good condition. It must have been sitting in that plastic case for a very long time. So this Monex round, I don't believe I have one of these. I most likely do, but I don't remember this round. That's why I purchased this round. But anyway, so I got that one. These I have not purchased before, this type of round. Bucks and Bulls. This is a beautiful round. This is in great shape. 
I thought that this was uh, beat up a little bit, you know, when I first saw this. Uh, but really, it was the protective uh, case that was uh, that was all scratched up. But once I took it out and tested it, uh, I saw that this was a beautiful coin. A little bit of toning there on the on the edge on the rim of this. So that's that one. Uh, the next one, I think you saw these last time I purchased this again from 1985, Coeur Mines. This is one silver freedom for one troy ounce. Okay, I purchased I think two or three of these last time from my other shop that I went to. This one I saw. Now this one I have saw online before. And I saw this there. It was in his box of generic. This is the first and only colorized piece of silver that I have ever purchased. I saw this online and I wanted to get this. This is from the Republic of Liberia. $20 coin. But I thought it was pretty neat. I liked it. All right, now everything else was uh, just loose silver. Uh, everybody's seen these before. Generic. I think this is Hamilton Mint. Let me just double check this. Uh, I think it is Hamilton Mint. Yeah, Hamilton Mint round. As we all know, Hamilton Mint's no longer in existence, but this thing is like it was made yesterday. How beautiful that is. The reflection on that. Very nice. Um, this is, uh, we've all seen these, Liberty Lobby. I grabbed the, everything he had on these. These are from 79. 79 and 79. These are all 79s. I got three of these Liberty Lobby coins. Check them out. These will go good in my uh, generic tube round vintage. So that. I got a almost proof like uh, copy of the Morgan. Now, I, I've seen these before, but they have said, this is from uh, the Hamilton Mint, but I've seen these before, but usually they say copy on them, and this one does not say copy. I saw them in his box, the ones that said copy, and I had asked him if he had anything like this in generic that doesn't say copy, because I, like I don't like the generic rounds or... Anything like that that says copy on it, I would prefer not to have that. Um, so he had two of these, and I took one of them off his hands. Very nice. I'm not sure what year these are made. No date. But nonetheless, great condition. Now I had purchased a, uh, a two-ouncer. Buffalo round. Pretty chunky. Nice. Last but not least, I saw and grabbed this half ounce. This is the same dimension. A little bit bigger than a uh, your typical one ouncer. You know, they're all pretty much the same, but this half ounce is pretty thin, comparative, comparing to your other one one ounce round. I usually don't buy fractionals, but 
This was interesting to me. A little half ounce round. Still 999 silver. Pricing at this shop, pretty good. Uh, each ounce of round here, uh, not too bad. $16.50 per round, per ounce, I should say. All right. Uh, not too bad of a price, you know, buck fifty over spot, pretty much. I think a buck over spot around that. But you know, good trip, good experience at a new LCS. And uh, you know, if you find them in LCS, go out and take a look at them. You never know what you're going to find in there. Next time I go there, I'm going to get some bars. He does have a lot of five ounce and ten ounce bars there, a lot of different types. And you know, next next video you see. Coming out of that LCS for me will be uh, will be bars, um, so I'll add some uh, weight to the stack with some five and ten ounces. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy your weekend. Keep stacking. It's lots lots of sun here, blue skies compared to yesterday. It was raining all day, but enjoy it. Keep on stacking, everybody. Peace.